If you ever wanted to learn how to form shapes with wire, this next video is for you. I'm Laura Scott, co-founder and owner of Weber's Pliers. Today, we're going to make the Triangle Tango Bracelet, which is a bracelet using just wire and a few tools to create a lovely look on your wrist while having a little fun. Here are the tools and supplies we're going to need for this project. You're going to need some 18 gauge wire, some 18 gauge jump rings, 14, chain nose pliers, two pairs to open and close your jump rings, round mandrels, round nose pliers, the medium triangle pliers, and some cutters. So we're gonna take our 18 gauge wire and I want you to take the flat side of your flush cutters and just make a flush cut on the end of that wire so it's nice and flat. Now you can take your round mandrels, we're gonna be using the smaller jaw of the round mandrels and grip in the end where the wire's not sticking out past the end and I want you to just roll it around until you meet that wire. If you need to readjust your grip, you can and roll that around. So you have a nice, we're not gonna center that, we're just gonna leave it how it is. We're not gonna crick that neck. And then we're gonna come in and lay it flat in the center of the smaller jaw of the triangle mandrels. You just wanna lay that right there in the center and get a grip on it. So it's right there in the middle. I'm gonna grip, I'm gonna roll my wire around the smaller triangle. You'd have to open up the jaw and you're gonna come back behind that loop you just made and give it a little push just to flatten everything down. Now you wanna take your chain nose and we just wanna push that little, all I'm doing is gently pushing that over down into the triangle, that little loop we made. Now for you to see a little better, I'm gonna cut off some of this wires just so you can see better what I'm doing. And I'm gonna take these triangle mandrels again. And what I'm doing is I'm aligning these last two little uh, angles of the triangle and I'm gonna grip and wrap back around that triangle. So we're kind of doing a little tango with our wire. We're twisting around the tool, doing a little tango. And then we're gonna get our rounds. So right now they kind of, they're like a folded book. And we're just gonna leave them that way for now. And what we wanna repeat, it's, we're doing the same thing we did on that side, on this side. So I'm gripping with the smaller jaw on top because now I'm just gonna pull that wire around. I'm gonna slip this out and readjust so I can come in here and finish this out so that it's that perfect circle behind there. So it's mirroring the other side. It's just like the other side. And I think I didn't pull that all the way around. Okay. Now I'm going to trim off my extra. And I want you to be careful here. You're just going to get right up to next. Make sure you only cut that wire that we did the round circle with. And we cut off our extra. And if you need to trim off a little more in a minute, that's fine. We'll do that. Now take your, your chain nose and you're going to pull that circle over into the triangle that you just made. And then we're still in a book shape. And then you can grip all of it with the all that one side to provide the strength and just bend that up. So it was here and I just took it and bent it up. And there's our first link. How easy is that for beginning out in this? This is so easy. In fact, I'm gonna do another one with you real quick. Again, get your flush cut off the end of that wire and I'm gonna cut a piece. As you're learning, it's a little easier just to cut off a piece of wire to work with, but as you get better and better, you can work from your coil and you will save more wire that way. So again, we did the flush cut I'm gonna roll around the smaller circle, readjust my grip if I need to, leave it just like that, put it in the center of those triangles, wrap around the triangle, open up and complete that wrap. I'm gonna slip that off and take my chain nose and I'm gonna push that down in the center. The great thing about the finish on these is it's not gonna mar your metals as you're working like this. So you don't have to worry about slipping and again, I'm just gripping that triangle in those pliers, wrapping around. We have our open book. And I'm gonna, again, you wanna make sure you're wrapping around that smaller jaw. I'm gonna wrap around, I'm gonna readjust my grip because I can't go all the way around like that. So I just pull out, put that back in the circle and finish off that loop. And I'm gonna cut off my extra. So here we still have that open book and that piece. You're gonna take your chain nose, grip it, and flip that into the triangle and then you can come through and grip all this with that, all that in the mouth of the jaw and flip that up and there's your second link. Simple as that. So now I'm gonna to continue to make this link six more times for the average size bracelet. You may need to do more or less depending on your wrist size, but six more of these links and we're gonna then connect them together.
So now that I've made my remaining six links, I'm gonna show you how to connect these together using your jump rings. What you'll need is two pair of chain nose or flat nose pliers. I like the chain nose because they give me a real nice grip on these smaller jump rings. And I'm just gonna twist one open. This one's already twisted open, but make sure you always twist these open because if you pull or push, you're gonna change the shape. So we're gonna twist this open and you're just gonna put the end of one of your links into the open jump ring and the end of another one into that same jump ring. And then we're gonna wiggle those twists back and forth. We're still doing the little tango while we make our bracelet. We're just twisting a lot too. Okay, and so we're gonna get another one and you're gonna have two jump rings on each connection just to make it a little stronger because this is a um, project that doesn't require any, any soldering. So we wanna make sure that this is a strong connection here. So sometimes that one's wanting to get away from me. It's running away. So there we go. We'll hook it through there and just twist that shut. And I'm going to continue on down the bracelet. Let me do another one here. Again, you're going to twist those. Let me stretch it out here so you can see what it's gonna look like. And what you're gonna do is just continue on down your bracelet, connecting each link. And I find it easy when you're trying to get through two of these and they're sliding around on you, I find it easy to fold one of these over and then go through both of the ends at once. That makes it a lot easier to contain your jump ring. And get it on there. Now that we have all our links put together for our triangle tango bracelet, we're gonna need a clasp. Go ahead and take your 18 gauge wire again and we'll, get a, we'll cut a piece off. And what I want you to do is make that flush cut again on the end. We're gonna just do a flush cut here. And we're gonna make half of the link this time, half of this uh, triangle link. So we're gonna roll it around the smaller end of our mandrels. We're gonna form it around the triangle. Now this time, we are gonna fold that down in there but this time, instead of mirroring that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our, our chain nose pliers and get right up here in the middle. And I want you to just bend this piece straight up like that. That's gonna start our clasp and we're gonna make a little hook. What you're gonna need is an inch and a half of wire sticking up for this part. So I like to hold the triangle at the bottom of my ruler and then find where an inch and a half is and you want the flush cut again. So I'm gonna hold my hand there an inch and a half. And then make sure you're doing using that flat side of the flush cutters because that's gonna be an actual part of our piece. Next thing you're gonna do is take your round nose pliers and you're just gonna make a little roll in your wire. And I want you to roll out away from your piece. So you're gonna decide which one is gonna be the outside of your piece. Now that I have that little roll, I'm going to take, you can take your round mandrels or your round nose and you're just gonna go into the thicker part of those jaws and roll that piece, that hook down over your, over your piece. And you have this nice little hook. Now I'm gonna show you how to connect our clasp to our bracelet. You'll need your two jump rings that you have left and you're gonna put them on whichever end you decide of your bracelet and then through the triangle of the clasp we just made. Twist those shut. Get our second one. Again, I like to lay that down. The best way to do this is to get that jump ring going up and down up there for you. I'm gonna put that down a second. And fold this over. And then you can just slide this right through the top. Both of those. Wiggle that shut. And look at how beautiful this triangle bracelet is on your wrist. Let's see how it looks. We have the triangle tango. Are we ready to go tango? Woo, look at that. So let's go back over the tools and supplies we used for this project. We had our 18 gauge wire, our 14 jump rings, round mandrel pliers, two chain nose pliers, round nose pliers, our medium triangle pliers, and cutters. Thanks for joining me today to make this triangle tango bracelet. 
If you need any of the supplies we used today, check the box below. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.